Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Warrior, and today we have another paracord video. Now, this one is on how to make the King Cobra paracord bracelet, and it ends up being pretty cool. Also, give me a break because I'm a little sick and it's way too early to be doing this. Now, for me, I used two nice, very colors a nice purple and a nice blue and then a nice whistle buckle. I'm pretty sure this is a one inch buckle. If I find out, I'll put it in the description. But other than that, just pick a large buckle. Plus I don't have too much time to record the audio, so if this isn't very descriptive, that's why. So the next thing you're gonna do is actually find the middle of your bass chord. For me, I'm gonna choose the blue, which honestly, I probably should have picked the purple instead of the blue as the bass color because it ends up being a little bright, but <laughs> You'll see. Anyways, you want to find the center of that cord and then put it down through the whistle end of the buckle. And then you're going to pull the ends of those two cords down through that loop and then tighten that. Then you're going to pull them around to the other side and then put them up through that buckle. Then you just want to pull them, make sure they're even and that they will fit around your wrist. Then you're gonna go ahead and do a cobra stitch. So you're gonna take the left strand, put it over the middle two strands. Take the right strand, put it over that left strand, behind the two middle strands and up through that left loop. And then you're just gonna to wanna to tighten that. So after you do that, you're gonna wanna make sure it fits over your wrist. And then you're gonna go ahead and do another cobra stitch. So you're gonna go ahead and take the strand on the right, go ahead and put it in front of the two middle strands, take the strand on the left over that blue strand behind the two middle strands and up through that right loop, and then go ahead and tighten that. And then you're gonna go ahead and do another cobra stitch. <laughs> and then you're gonna take the left strand, put it over the middle two strands, take the right strand, put it over that strand, behind the middle two strands, and up through the left loop. Then you're just gonna tighten that. And then you're just gonna wanna continue doing cobra stitches all the way down the paracord bracelet. Once you get down to the end, you're going to want to squeeze in as many cobra stitches as you can. And so here is where you actually should clip these two blue strands, but I ended up not doing that. So I'm going to use footage from my head and then I'm going to bring it back here. So there might be a little more purple on the bracelet than on yours. So you're going to go ahead and clip the right strand kind of close, a little bit closer than that to the bracelet. And then you're going to melt that and then press it down if you want. Then you're gonna clip the other strand, then go ahead and melt that without melting anything else, and then go ahead and press that down. So you're gonna take those purple strands and then you're gonna put them up through the first buckle that you started with, the non-whistle part.
after you pull those strands through down to the middle then you're just going to want to flip over that top knot and over those two strands and then tighten that and then you're going to go ahead and do another cobra stitch so go ahead and take your left strand put it over that middle section take your right strand put it over that behind the middle section and then up through that left loop and then you're going to want to tighten that Then you're doing another cobra stitch. <laughs> so you're going to take the right strand, put it over the middle section, take the left strand, put it over that right strand behind the middle section and up through the right loop. And then you're going to want to tighten that. And then you want to keep doing that cobra stitch all the way down to the bottom. And when doing these, you want to make sure you tighten them evenly so that they align properly in the middle of the bracelet. They'll kind of fit into parts of the first cobra stitch bracelet or the first layer I should say so you want to make sure you keep it consistent with that so tighten them all to the same spot kind of thing so like I said you're gonna to want to do that cobra stitch down to the bottom and here I actually did not clip the blue strands before, but you definitely should. And then you're just going to want to finish that purple stitch, so just keep doing that all the way down to the buckle. And then you're going to want to go ahead and clip your purple strand. So clip the right strand and then burn that. These I wouldn't press down because these you're going to see. And I prefer them to not be pressed down with how they look. So then go ahead and clip the left strand and then burn that. And then after that, you are done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know this video isn't a custom bracelet tutorial because I've been doing a lot of those. Or it seems like anyway. I don't know, I've only probably only done like a few. <laughs> but I really just wanted to get this video out to you. And I haven't seen a Cobra Stitch bracelet made like this before with all the same setups. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.